Three, two, one. Good evening and welcome to the cauldron here in Brisbane on the traditional lands of the Turbul and Yagara people. My name is Sunny Tyre and it is an honour and a privilege to be here with you tonight for this Indigenous round clash between the Canberra Raiders and the Brisbane Broncos. Joining me in the box here for this special game is my good mate Riley Murray. Riley, we've got two teams here with a lot to prove and a great chance to do it here tonight in front of a sold out Suncorp Stadium. How are we feeling about tonight's matchup? I'm feeling really good, Sonny, and I've only just noticed that uh, the players actually have player names on the back of their Indigenous jerseys, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think that's a nice little touch there. And I'm very keen to see how these uh, teams play. Uh, Broncos had a very nice game against the Panthers last week, and they're really going to be hoping to keep that form that they had in that game. And the Raiders, they just really need to get some wins as well. They are... Uh, They've been a little bit better coming into the middle side of the season and let's hope they can keep their form. Yeah, well said as we're on the way here from Suncorp and the Raiders coming off a big win last week against the Titans in Bathurst and what a game it was. The Broncos, as you said, Riley, beating the Penrith Panthers 14 to nil, I believe it was. So both teams now trying to get above 50%. The Broncos in a pit, uh, better position and oh geez, with an intercept like that, that couldn't have been a better start for him. Anyways, let me get onto the footy here. First tackle, Corey Boyd takes the run about 16 out from the line. Bronco shift the right to Edwards, and oh, Edwards gets the pass away to McDonald. And Amac with his first run of the game, and it'll be a huge game for him to want to step up and represent for the Broncos and our indigenous community here in the SRL. Right across, as we see third tackle inside the 10 now. Bronco shifted infield to Simon Hunt. Hunt taking down the two-man tackle, fourth now. They go back out wide. Outside ball to Rakamanu, swings it to the wing, and Justin Plays is driven back. Great defense from the Raiders. 32 game on this set, fifth and last year. Where are they going to go? They'll play back in the slot. Short gets the boot away. He gets the grubber straight to Rakamanu, and Rakamanu is driven back. Desperate, de uh, desperate defense there from the Raiders, uh, Riley. Great stuff. Yeah, what a tackle from Wally Allen. That was amazing. Not easy to take down Rakamanu like that, especially when he's just steaming onto the ball right close to that try line there. And Blaine nearly makes a break, but he's taken down nicely. Going. Man, that was some very good defense from the Raiders. Yeah, and they'll be counting their blessings here. You don't want to let the Broncos get off to a hot start like that. Doesn't help when they uh, force that mistake and turn the ball over. As we're seeing, he gets a big bump off there. Straight through AMAC and four tackle now. The Raiders still half, half short of the halfway line. As Eli Barnes gets it now, steps through, and he's got space on the right edge, but he's taken down in a great read by Rakamanu. Fifth and last here, just on the 40 meters gained on this set for the green machine as they drop it flat to Berkeley, who puts up a high bomb inside the 10. Who's with it? It's Rossini, but Rossini will be taken down there. And a great kick there from the Raiders. Hitting the Broncos deep inside their own red zone. And Riley, in your opinion, what are the two strengths for both teams here tonight? We'll start with the Broncos. Oh, yeah, well, the Broncos, I think that's a strength right there. The big men in the middle, Luke Short, just steaming through uh, the middle of the field. Just, they've got a lot of quality in their middle. And I'd love to see them kind of exploit the weaker forward pack of the Raiders. But the Raiders, we know how good their fullback is. Eli Barnes, their back three is just amazing. And Eddie Oliver. He's gone away with it. Oh, but Lewis, the intercept, right, Eddie Oliver, he just got a bit He's too there. Uh, creative there. He wasn't really thinking, chucked it away. Yeah, and Eddie Oliver probably having one of his best seasons in the SRL. He's trying to make a mark here early, but that one just forced loose and turned over. So we give the Raiders a prime opportunity. We spoke about the Raiders earlier, currently standing at 2-5 and five on the season. And you do not want to drop more than six, maybe seven losses. So they need to start piling on some wins here. And this is a perfect opportunity to do it. Coming off the back of a great win against the Titans. Four tackle now. Garcia on the wing. Playing at center tonight. And we'll see how that works out for the Raiders. Back in field to Harry Cheddar. And Cheddar's taken down just shy or inside the 30. As we see Berkeley deep in the pocket. Oh, Thompson, sorry. He gets a stab down towards the corner of Dylan Sharp. Dylan Sharp. Wrapped up there in a great tackle by Dane Blaine, I think it was. 
And I'll tell you what, Riley, um, the Raiders looking like their game plan is to just pin it deep with the kick, but Caleb Jeff with a great run there. And you spoke about the forwards, that could be the way through for the Broncos. Yeah, it definitely could. These Raiders are just, at the moment, trying to wear this uh, Broncos forward pack out, but they don't look like they're ready to get tied yet. They've absolutely just been amazing. And AMAC just proving me right there. The captain is making a very good Move. run. And Man, these Broncos Get are just back, look looking me. to smash this forward pack of the Raiders. The yeah, they're just giving those inside balls to their their big boppers there. Fifth and last now, Oliver drops it back to Edwards. He puts it in. It's a great kick on the line. Barnes is waiting for it. And a great catch there from Eli Barnes. I thought the kick was inch perfect, but just an inch short. And it'll give the Raiders a seven tackle reset now as Rossini takes the first run up. And the SRL Indigenous round, what a round it is, a concept being introduced to the SRL th this season. As Riley Murray pointed out during the start of this broadcast, the last names, the surnames on the back of these jerseys, just to make the occasion a little bit more special and memorable as we see a short ball on, oh, an absolute shocker of a pass, thrown straight to Justin Plays on the right hand side, Eli Barnes has to bring him down. And Riley, not a great start from the Raiders. They're turning this ball over a lot, and it's unforced mistake. Yeah, it's very bad for the Raiders. That was just not needed. They chucked it forward about 20 metres. And now the Broncos have a very good chance. As Edwards winds up with it, gets him inside the 10. Third tackle now, 10 played here at Suncorp as Luke Short winds up with it. And his Broncos forwards just putting their hands up. They all want a taste of the pie. Fourth tackle now on the line here. Eddie Oliver will die from dummy half and he'll just barge his way over. I think that'll be a try here. First points of the game. We'll take a look at the replay by Riley Murray. What a try there from Eddie. I think uh, he put that down nice and clean. And that should give the home side the first points of the game. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. That's a try right there. And Eddie, he was just too close to the line to stop him. I don't think he really had any other choice. He just decided to tuck it under the arm and flop over. And it was an amazing job by the hooker. He just could not be stopped that close. Yeah, what a flop. Eddie Oliver with the play. <laughs> and it was a great, great try there because it was just one out stuff from the Broncos straight through the middle. Their forward packs just want to get through there and really just run a muck early on in this game. As uh, John Baker, sorry, will slot the conversion to make it 6 0. And if you're the Broncos, Riley, you're in a good position right now. But we know that the Raiders are a team that can compete for 80 minutes. Uh, what do you think is going to be the way forward for the Raiders to win this game here tonight? Yeah, well, I think that they really just need to work on their middle defense at the moment. The Broncos are winning the game through the middle, and they just need to keep an eye on Eddie Oliver. You know, that the flop, it's just it's a strong play, and Eddie Oliver is one of the best floppers in the league, and he's really, you've got to keep an eye on him. And AMAC off the back fence with a huge run that gets him about five post contact meters onto the 20. Caleb Jeff. Oh, full pass there. And just like that, the Raiders now with a prime opportunity inside the red zone. We spoke about mistakes. And now the Broncos giving one on a platter for the green machine as Rahul Kowal will take a run there. First tackle now. The Raiders in prime position as they shift at left side. Thompson gives it to Wally Allen. And Wally Allen will try and barge his way close. But he's taken down with three defenders, and it's a held and tackle penalty. The referee blowing the whistle, and it'll be another set of six for the Raiders, right? Yeah, yeah, that was um, maybe not so, not the best discipline from the Broncos there. They probably wanted to not give away six again, but Raiders have a very good chance, and you don't want them to waste this one. That's your second. Yeah, and Alan Berkeley, what a run there. Thought he was going to get across, but Jordan Lewis now, the captain. The skipper, he barges over to get the first try of the game for the Raiders. We're going to review it once again. But that looked good as all money there, taking on Luke Short. And what a try there from the Raiders skipper. Yeah, that was great from Lewis. That was very good to see from the captain just taking it himself and uh, getting that try for his team. And both teams are just going flop for flop at the moment. <laughs> They're getting points on the board. And six points is six points, Sonny. It's all happening. It's uh, the action is uh, unfolding right in front of us. And tell you what, some musbetters out there probably wanting some uh, players wearing headgear to score a try. But nonetheless, it's been two great tries from both teams, Eddie Oliver and Lewis, on the board. And Jordan Lewis making an announcement at a press uh, press conference last week in Canberra, 
talking about that this will be his final season in the SRL, Riley. Uh, it won't be the final season in the SRL, sorry. It'll be his final season as a captain uh, for the near future. And Riley, what's your thoughts on that? You know, a great character like Jordan Lewis, who's brought leadership, experience, and a premiership to Canberra. Um, it's pretty sad to be stepping, seeing him step down after this season. Yeah, Lewis, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. He's a top bloke. You can't really, uh, you can't really knock him for anything. He's a very, very nice bloke. And, um, yeah, he's just he's a good influence he's on the league. There. And I understand Dream that he wants to take a step me. back. It, uh, it can be draining being a captain. But oh, yeah. Were, oh, but Eli Barnes is cutting oh. me off. That's an amazing run from Barnes. Yeah, he must have heard us from the box. We've inspired them a little with a fourth tackle just shy of the... 20 and the Raiders already inside Bonko's half off that run from Barnes and Berkeley winds up with it. Stop shy of the 10, but 68 gain on the set. The Raiders lined up for a kick here. They double pass it back out to Luke Thompson who puts in a short bomb. Who's chasing it? It's Lewis to end up with it, but Lewis is dragged back. And I'll tell you what, Riley, the Raiders, they're having a pretty good uh, performance with the kicking so far. It's not too bad, but uh, just needs to hit the mark a bit more cleaner. Yeah, it's been pretty good for them, and Lewis at the moment has just stepped up a lot, just making an impact for his team. That's what you love Two to see from hands the away. Uh, Broncos now, they have a chance to try and get some momentum behind them once again, and they've just kind of been smothered by the Raiders the last few Three. sets. Back with me. He's yeah, and the Broncos donning a blue indigenous jersey with such a beautiful look to it. One, th one of the things I love about indigenous round is seeing these new kits in action, it's just... It's great to see as Eddie Oliver breaks from dummy half, but he throws an intercept straight to Wiley Flynn. And Eddie Oliver, his second interception of the game here, Riley. If you're the Broncos, you're hoping it's not a recurring theme because he's already scored a try here, but maybe he's just overdoing it a bit. Yeah, Eddie's had a bit of a rocks and diamonds game so far, and he's going to want to get a bit more oh. consistency. But Rossini, that's a big Back hit from 10. him, just he's making his way through the line. And Raiders, they have once again another shot. And Barnes nearly Ooh. takes it too. Yeah, that was a risky play there from the Raiders. and nearly paid dividends, but a great read from AMAC to stop Eli. As we see Wally Allen wind up with it. 25 out from the line. 30 gain on this set. Where will they go here? The Raiders drop it in the slot to Luke Thompson. Gets a grubber away. It's a pretty good one. And Eddie Oliver's there to scoop it up. But he's brought down five from the line. And Eddie Oliver may be making up for his... Previous blunder there as AMAC winds up with it again, and we've said his name a few times already in this first half. Nearly 20 minutes played, and oh, Simon Hunt just driven back in a great tackle from the Raiders. Third now, still deep in their own half in the red zone, but they get out through Lillard, and Lillard throws an intercept now. <laughs> and geez, might be a bit of butter on the ball here, Riley, because the Broncos just seem to keep giving it away to the Raiders. Yeah, they just can't hold on to it. Oh, oh. neither can the Raiders. Hunt comes up with it. What's going on, Sonny? Oh, I think they're just too keen to try and get into the contact there. It's very, it's very unlike these teams to make this amount of mistakes early on. There's no rain here tonight. It's beautiful weather here in Brizzy. So maybe both teams just getting a bit anxious, getting a bit itchy on the on the hands. They want to try and just get forward and get down there as Luke Short takes the run to the 40. Held down a bit in the tackle. From Kowal, as we see them give it flat to Lila. Lila straight through the gap. Nearly bit my tongue saying that. And Sam Lila, what a run. Playing at the 11 jersey in this game. We'll see how he goes there. Edwards puts up a beauty of a bomb. They're going to let it bounce. It's off the crossbar. Oh, and it goes dead. Oh, luckily for the Raiders. That was a dangerous kick there. A dangerous set from the Bronco. Oh, that was risky business. Letting that bounce out into touch. That was... Very scary. I, I personally would have just tapped it over the edge, but oh, Demando just making a good break there. He's held and there. Man, the Raiders, That's they're playing with fire here. Yeah, and they don't want to get burnt. Thompson catches that one flat footed. I thought he was going to throw it, but he does the wise thing. Second tackle now, the Raiders flat ball. Lewis straight out to Allen, and Allen will wind it up to the 40. Tell you what, it's been some good attacking pressure from the Canberra side here as we see Driscoll end up with it now. Lucy Driscoll pl taking her first run of the game. Four tackle, cutout ball, Daly straight through the middle, bumps one off, he's just got to beat Barnes, gets the off right away to Thompson, but Thompson is brought back fifth and last now, just shy of the 10, Canberra, where will they go? They've got options on the left and the right, they drop deep in the pocket to Garcia, who puts up a high bomb, and who's going to end up with it? 
Taken there by Sonny Sharp and a great, great defuse there from Brisbane. Oh, that was a great take by Sonny Sharp. Just a lot of pressure on him there and he comes Two, up with the ball. Away. That's what you want Hell. from your centers. Especially with Sonny being a second rower, just making his way into that centers. We've seen a He's few second rowers have Three. moved Move. into that position, done a very good job. And Sonny's definitely one of those people. Hell. Four. Yeah, the second row playing at center. It's been done before and there are ups and downs to it. The strength being the biggest advantage, but the speed being one of the, the compromises of that playing choice as we see Edwards send it down towards the wing of Riley Flynn. Riley Flynn trying to make some magic happen here and he'll get past one, but Baraka Manu is there to read him and it's the first tackle now. Shy of the halfway, but Berkeley will get him there. Get him across the foot halfway actually. Second now. 25 played in your TBC Live SRL Premiership Indigenous round match between the Broncos and the Raiders. Six all is the score. 25 played here at Suncorp. Out wide to Dane Blaine. Go the Raiders. And we see them take it inside the 30. Four tackle now. Play the ball. Tim James gets it to Berkeley. Flips it to Kowal. And Kowal will just wind up with it. 57 on this set. Raiders going to try and look to pin the Broncos deep. Courtesy of a Thompson kick. But it's a bit of a botchy one. It's short and shallow. And Barnes will end up with it. But not the kick you need to put on those foot tackle options. Yeah, not a good kick at all. It almost went backwards uh, from Thompson, but uh, the Broncos will be very happy about that. Just getting a few free meters because of how shallow that kick was. They've really got a chance to try and push momentum there. back into that's their favor here. Yeah, that's right, Riley. And oh, Michael Manu, what a step! We know how lethal he can be, especially when he just jumps off that right foot. And springs off into action, looking like Sean Johnson in his prime. Is it? He all gets a dart from dummy half, taking about eight meters shy of the line for tackle. Great run there from Eddie Lillard. Now driven back in the tackle, loses some meters on that one. Fifth and last here for the Brisbane Broncos as we see Lillard play the ball. Oliver dishes it. Oh, short gets in the way and it's scooped up by Lucy Driscoll. Great awareness from the rookie and the Raiders hold off once again, Riley. Yeah, that's oh Daly just breaking tackles and making his way through the line. And that was very good work from Driscoll, just jumping on the ball, not letting the Broncos get it back. And uh, oh, Allen, the Raiders—they're just making breaks for fun here. Yeah, their counter attack has been on here tonight, and you know many might say that they're playing for their season. They need a win here tonight, and I'm probably one of those ones in that camp. You do not want to drop out to two and six. Because that can be demoralizing. That almost puts a line through your finals hopes. As Jaden Garcia looking to try and keep their season alive with that run. 15 out from the line. Inside from Wally Allen to Daly. He winds up with it on the 10. Taken down by two defenders. 71 gain on this set for Canberra. The visitors put up a high bomb. But it's very short. Luke Thompson not able to get enough distance on it. Dylan Sharps breaking away through the middle. But he's taken down. And Riley, both teams getting their opportunities inside the red zones, but those fifth tackle options just letting them both down at the moment. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Sharp has just been so reliable under the high ball so far this game. And uh, he can't really knock him for anything. He's been a big part of why the Broncos have been able to withstand this attack of the Raiders when they've had a lot more momentum than them. And Manu just lining up here, trying to make his way through the line, not able to do it. The Raiders, they just really need to look at different options, I reckon. Oh, and Sonny Sharp just gets put on his stomach there on a huge tackle. Fifth and last for the Broncos. Bakers will send it cross field to the corner of Riley Flynn. Flynn driven back in a great cover defense. On great cover tackle from the Brisbane line. And they'll look to try and relieve a bit of pressure through Berkeley, but they're driven back. Second tackle inside the red zone now. Just under 10 minutes to play here in this first half. And what an arm wrestle. Oh. It's been and something that's just got an absolutely folded on that hit and the Broncos just like that blink of an eye Riley inside the red zone yeah Wally Allen just got smashed he wasn't able to do a thing there and the My Broncos goodness. they have a very good chance now oh I could hear that one from me I could see the mouth guard fly out as Lillard now plays the ball Oliver gives the shot to Edwards and Edwards will wind up with it short of the line third tackle now where are they looking Broncos give it inside ball to John Bakers who will try and budge his way over but he's turned on his back and referee K will take this one to the bunker for the standard bunker procedure. Got to have a bit of camera time for the refs. 
Get their faces out on SRL TV on your live and free coverage for this game. No try is the verdict. Fourth now. Broncos shift it right to Dylan Sharp to Manu to plays. Plays steps one. Brought down though. Five meters away. Fifth and last here. Where will they go? The Broncos. Home fans on their feet cheering them on as they await to see what will come of this set. Bakers puts up a high bomb. It's inside. Dead perfect. Who's under it? Right on Manu. Takes that ball nice and clean, but he's driven outside to the field of play, and just like that, another chance goes begging. Oh man, I thought Manu was in for all money, and Domendo just making a great break there, but the Raiders' defense has just stood up very well, and they've been almost uh, almost perfect tonight. You can't uh, judge their goal under defense at all. They've been amazing. Yeah, and their season form might tell one story, but the way that they've played in these games tells another, and you know, we saw what they can do last week against the Titans. If they can channel that and bring that to tonight's game, this could t totally change the outlook of the season for Canberra. The same can be said for the Broncos. Three and four at the moment, and you want to get to four and four, get to 50% as we head towards the crunchy end of the season. Just past the halfway point as Jordan Lewis puts up a high bomb. It's a great kick. Daly there to take it. But again, the fifth tackle tackle options for the Raiders lacking once again yeah the Raiders they just keep on putting the high ball up they're not really trying anything different and the Broncos have done amazing just to compose themselves and get underneath the high ball every time it's put up but Hunt Hunt just making his way through the line that's, that's amazing work from Hunt yeah, the Broncos forward pack have really stood up in this first half. They're making it a point to be emphasized through tonight's game. A oh, great ball out to Lillard. I don't know how we ended up with that one. But he does so. He just shot out the 30 and the Broncos just edging closer. Big fan from Luke Short on Driscoll as we see Oliver end up with it now. Gets post contact meters inside the 10. Fourth now. Less than four minutes remaining in this first half. The Broncos looking to try and capitalize off this set. Bakers winds up with it. Turned on his back. 86 on this set gain for the Bronx. Fifth and last now. Where will they go? The home side. They've got options waiting in the slot, but they go flat to Luke Short, and Luke Short just strolls straight through the gap. And that'll be the second try for the Broncos. The first for Luke Short here tonight. Oh, man, of course it's Luke Short. He did all that work, made two line breaks in that set, just getting his team into that position. And, of course, it had to be him that ends up with the ball and gets over the line. That was... Some great work from Luke Shaw. You can't even uh, tell him that he's not a lock because he is, has been cooking this game. Oh, yeah, that move to Brisbane has... It's certainly seen a bit of a rejuvenation in his career, and he's playing some career-best footy for Brisbane this season, and it's great to see Luke Shaw is a great bloke. Well-loved captain of the Parramatta Eels. As Bakers will start that one to take the lead out to six just before half time. About two and a half minutes remaining here. We could see both teams end up with one more set apiece before we head into the sheds. Here for this Indigenous round clash from Brisbane. And what a great game it's been so far. A lot riding on this result. Not just for these teams, but for teams vying in top eight contention, which is pretty much the entire league. And our deep ball straight to Simon Hunt. And I'll tell you what, Rob. The Broncos do have the lead here, but I, personally, I feel like the Raiders have been just the better side. Um, even though the scoreboard's not reflecting that at the moment, they've played some great footy. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. The, um, the Raiders, they just have been really good, but they just haven't been able to get the points on the board. They haven't done very well when finishing their plays on the line. He's held there. And uh, the, Ra Four. the Broncos have just Move. done a very much better job at ending their sets and trying to get points on the board, as we've seen early kick from Edwards. Yeah, I sympathize with problems trying to finish as we see Eli Barnes break one. He's trying to get it going for the Raiders. They've got about 30 seconds left to pull a rabbit out of the hat. We'll see if they can do so through Wally Allen with the offload back to Tim James. Tim James, what a game he had last week. Two try assists in the first half. They've got a lot of punters over the ball with the Mosbets as Eli Barnes steps one, shrugs off another. I thought he was gone, but that should be half time. 12 6 to the home side. The Broncos over the Raiders. Hello and welcome back to the second half here from Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane for your SRL Indigenous Round Clash between the Broncos and the Raiders where the home side Brisbane Broncos 
have a 12-6 lead heading into the second stanza of the game. And Riley, what a game it's been. And I'm wrestling from both sides. You can tell they both really want to win this one. Yeah, it's been a really good uh, matchup so far. One, Just release. both teams competing very hard, trying to get points on the board, and defending hard too. And oh, Brown just making Two a big on impact the early going. on. He's held there. Get up. Yeah, it's been the story of the night for the Broncos. Just playing through their middles and just forcing their way through the defensive line of the Raiders. As we see Arkey trying to make something happen, but he's driven back. Third tackle now. Bronco shift that left side. Edwards gives it to Lillard. He wasn't expecting it, but it'll do do a good job to hold on to it. And Oliver now gives it to Edwards. Edwards will just send it downfield, forcing Eli Barnes to run back. Field this one from the end goal. Watch out, but he's wrapped up in a good tackle. And you have to think Eli Barnes will be the X factor for the Raiders tonight. But Jordan Lewis, another great run there in tell you what Riley he's certainly making a point here tonight in this game yeah he's made a huge impact and uh, we saw from Eli Barnes early on as well he's uh, he nearly got a try just at the end of that first half he's amazing and Garcia nearly making his way through the line so close he's, this Broncos defense just held up very well here Luke Thompson now looking for a 40-20 does he have the angle he doesn't let alone the distance and Rakamanu there with an open field but he's wrapped up Three men there to take him down. And I'll tell you what, for the Raiders, prior to last week's win, it was their worst start to an SRL season. And you gotta, you got to feel a bit sorry for the Raiders. They had a bit of uh, unfortunate circumstances last week. Oh, last season, I should say. Ah, Key now with a great run. Hang on, I'll tell this uh, story in a bit as we see the action unfolding in front of us. Eddie Oliver just leaves the ball there, decides to make the smallest run from dummy half I think I've ever seen. Four tackle now for the Broncos as they give a cutout ball to Isaac Edwards, and Edwards will just wind it up now. Let's see how the kicking game can go for the home side. Oliver will play this one in time to Corey Boyd, who will have a go at it. Crossfield stabbed towards the corner of Demando, fielding it. He's got space, just needs to be like a money, and he gets a goosey on him, but he's brought down in a two-man tackle from behind. <laughs> Getting taken there, and Riley, what a run it was, letting off the pressure for the Raiders, and now mounting a counter-attack. Yeah, that was a very good run, and uh, the Raiders are just in a lot better field position now. And I reckon that uh, little thing that Eddie Oliver did back Three, there, I think we might just call that the Oliver Shuffle, something of the sort. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've seen that one before. <laughs> yeah, he just lost his train of thought and stared at the ball for what seemed like an eternity and made a... You know, I won't rip on Eddie, because who am I to talk? I am not the one to criticise passing and ball-playing skills. Yeah, fifth and last for the Raiders in front of the halfway line. Berkeley gets a great kick, but uh, Justin Plays is there to field it. But he's read there. Great tackle from the Raiders. Great defense there from their line, chasing that kick as Arkey gives it inside to Simon Hunt. Simon Hunt, the former Maroon and Samoan representative playing you tonight. Brown gives it out to Lillard, another Samoan rep. Great cover defense from the Raiders. They're keeping the bongo Bonkos pinned deep in their own half as we see Manu get the ball and he's driven back. Fourth now. Bonkos 25 from their line, struggling to get out of this territory as we see Luke Short. Give him a little bit of uh, breathing room here. Only 19 meters gained on this set, though, so the Bonkers will have to boot it deep to get some, get him out of position. And it's a botch kick straight to Eli Barnes. Eli Barnes breaks through the tackle. He runs on the right hand side. He's just got to beat Manu, but Manu does a great job to bring him down. And all of a sudden, the tables have turned for the Green Machine. Back in field to Berkeley, dishes it to Thompson. His opposite half driven down. Second now, the Raiders. Where will they go? They've got options on both sides. They go flat. Alan Berkeley winds up with it. He just has to drop down. But he's flipped on his back there. And the Raiders, Riley, you can feel like they're knocking on the door here. Oh, man, I thought that Barnes was away for all money. But they were able to stop him. And McQueen doing a Jamison shuffle. <laughs> he doesn't utilize the Oliver shuffle. He's thought of something else here. <laughs> We've got some new shuffles, some new variants entering the game here. Probably not as flashy as the Jameson shuffle. But nonetheless, Thompson catches that one awkwardly. And the Broncos just rush up to him. Not enough time for him to get the ball out. And the Broncos hold on once again, Riley. Oh, man, that was That's such a good opportunity move. for the Raiders. But they just make a bit of a dog's breakfast of it. Eli Barnes did all the work. And they 
just couldn't finish it off. Now the Broncos, they have another chance to just kind of get some more points on the board. And Eddie Oliver going for a... That wasn't even an Oliver shuffle. That was, a, that was something else there. Yeah, he made more than one meter, so it's not officially classified as Oliver shuffle. And Tim James ends up with the intercept. The vice captain looking to make his mark on this game. They give it to Thompson out wide to Wally Allen, who will just wind up with it. And all of a sudden, the Raiders once again with a prime opportunity just outside the red oh. zone. And oh, forward pass. And just like that, Riley, they had the platter and they just dropped it on the floor or turned it over with a forward pass. And that relieves a lot of pressure for Brisbane. Yeah, it's a theme this game, isn't it? They've just... Oh, oh no, what are they doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of puck footy here. We're just making up plays on the run. Oh, it's starting to get a bit scrappy here. I think both teams are fatigued settling in. Zach Brown with a line break on the left edge. And just over 30, well, half an hour remaining in this round eight clash, I believe it is. Yes, round eight. Ah, my uh, one brain cell is still, still working at some capacity as we see Edwards dish it out to Lillard and Lillard will just drive it. About 26 short of the line here, just short of the red zone. Fifth and last for Brisbane, the home side. Oliver drops back to Bakers. Bakers just puts in a shallow punt straight to Demando. Flirting with the touchline, but he's read well there on the kick chase um, from the Broncos. Yeah, plays did really well to wrap up Demando there. He's been very plays, dangerous. That's his and uh, he's definitely hard to wrap up. And when he gets into open space, it's all over. And Broncos, they've done well, but oh, Beats just... Look at the big fella, go, go big fella. He's on the oh, on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love to see the big units get the line breaks like that. Jordan Lewis now with an offload. Great ball to Wally Allen, who gets a couple co uh, post-contact meters. Fourth now inside the 20. The oh, visitors. Again. Oh, awkward ball to <laughs> Preston Beats. And you can hear the Canberra fans just start rising up when they see Beats on the ball. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, this is a great night here at Brisbane. Great kick oh, there. Oh, and it's taken from Eli Barnes. He just pinches it out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, the visitors with a chance to level the game here, Riley. What a play from Eli. Oh, Barnes, he just came in like a thief in the night and just stole that ball right from under Rakamanu. That was amazing work. Oh, my word. Have you ever seen something like that? Just pinches it from him. Oh, Eli Barnes, that's why he's one of the best. Just puts up a floater, and you just got to think to yourself, stuff it. Eli's down there somewhere, or he'll get there, and he'll end up with the goods. Bring home the lollies as we see. 12 all is the score. 54 played at Suncorp. Between the Broncos and the Raiders, this game with a lot at stake. When we talk about finals hopes, when we talk about the chances, and the hopes of the season being on the line, this game being a crucial one to this equation, but only one of many. We've got plenty of footy left to be played this season, but both teams want to win here. They want to win now, and they want to have their future in their own hands with a result here tonight. Jordan Lewis, what a run. That's a name we've said many times throughout tonight. He just leads by example, leads with his actions as we see Kawhi now. Held a bit quiet, but he's been pretty solid defensively. Second tackle for the Raiders. And the tension, the atmosphere at Suncorp has just quietened, quietened down a little bit as the Raiders slowly starting to look, make their momentum shift in their favor. Fourth tackle now, the Raiders will play the ball. Garcia gives it short to Thompson. Cut out ball to Tim James through the middle. Tim James being shifted to lock in the second half, and we'll see how that works out. Worked out pretty well for them last week against the Titans as Thompson gets a short kick away to Justin Plays. Plays floating with the touchline, but he's taken down by Demando. And I think the momentum of that tackle forced them back in field. They give a cutout ball to Oliver. Inside to Luke Short. Luke Short takes a great run through the middle. 25 out from the line. Second tackle here. The home side. Short ball to Malia Aki, and Aki's driven back. Not much doing on that run. Third tackle now. Oliver plays it. Flat ball to Lillard. Lillard. Just gets the big thighs pumping, pumping the calves. Gets shy of the 10 now. Fourth for the Broncos. Where will they go? They go inside to Edwards, out wide to Short. 
Short another run on this set, and oh geez, the post contact meters, he is just racking them up here tonight. Fifth and last for the home side, they double pass it back to Bakers, who puts in a great high bomb. Who's going to defuse it? Who's going to end up with it? It's Riley Flynn, steps one, had a bit of space through the wide edge. But great goal line defense there from the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders did very well. They've been doing very well under the high ball all game. Both Two teams have actually, uh, no. bar that one, <laughs> that one pinch that... Uh, Oh, the Eli Barnes got a bit earlier, and Barnes, here he is again. You say his name and he appears. It's like uh, <laughs> bloody Barnes. <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want to say it more than three times if you're the opposition, because that usually means he's scored some tries. Four tackle now. So we enter the final quarter of this game here from Suncorp. Dane Blaine trying to make something happen on the right edge. 56 gain on the set for the visitors. Where will they go now? They look around and scan the field. They drop in the slot to Tim James. Tim James puts up a great kick towards the corner oh justin plays watch out he's got space but wrapped up again and i'll tell you what riley canberra have done a good job at shutting down that wing of riley flynn yeah they've done very well he's been kept very quiet he's only gotten a couple breaks and they've just done well to mark him overall in the... oh a bit of an eddie <laughs> oliver moment there <laughs> what just happened another oliver shuffle and that one nearly turned fatal the home fans not complaining the raiders fans certainly asking questions to the ref Thinking that one could have been an offside or a forward pass, but nonetheless, the Broncos, four tackle inside Canberra half now. They give it to Jeff, who's driven back. 44 gain on this set for the home side. The Bronx now slow to play the ball. Caleb Jeff probably feeling that contact a bit. Edwards now gets a crossfield kick towards the corner of Demando with the green headgear. Watch out, steps one, cuts infield, and Rakomanu there to bring him down. And I'll tell you what, Riley, Rakomanu, he's just... He is a weapon on defense at that fullback position. Yeah, he definitely is. He's just been amazing this game. And they've, uh, both teams' fullbacks have really made a mark in this one. And Garcia just making a nice break. He's oh, Garcia! I thought he was away there, but he's brought down in a great ankle tap. Try-saving tackle it could have been from Bakers. Back in field to Eli Barnes, and Eli Barnes again taken. And John Bakers is working overtime on this set as they give it out wide to Kawhi, back inside to Berkeley. And just like that, the Raiders are five short on the line. Fifth and last here, 62 played in Brisbane as we see them dropping the slot to Thompson, who puts up a high bomb, but it's shallow. Who's going to end up with it? It's Sonny Sharp with a great speck. He steps one. And a great defuse there from the Broncos. Oh, they've been targeting Sharp this game, and he's just been amazing. Getting the ball and Jeff straight through the line. They can't stop him. The beach sprinter. Oh, with the flow, hits the tackle and Edward skips it straight through the middle. And he's going to try and get the play going here for the Broncos. What a sequence that just was. And it's a held and tackle penalty. A penalty conceded from Canberra. And the Broncos, the home fans in jubilance. A bit of a breather here and a chance to take the lead with a two point penalty goal, Riley. Uh, this is a huge moment in the game. Just getting this extra two points. Amazing decision by the Broncos. Uh, oh, man. I can't even blame the Raiders. They're just trying to slow down the play. That was getting a bit too hectic. And the <laughs> Broncos are ahead by two points in this matchup. Oh, yeah. It was just... It was all happening there. A bit of a commotion in the middle of the field. And Edwards was the one to show great awareness. Scooping up the ball and exposing uh, the out-of-position defenders through the middle. And the Raiders probably getting a bit tired, a bit fatigued there. Slowing down to play the ball. And that gives the home side a two-point advantage. 14-12 is the score in favor of the Broncos. And geez, Riley, what a, what a final 15 minutes were set for. Both teams have just given us some great physical footy. And it's really hard to separate the two. Yeah, absolutely. This game has had more big hits than a MTV no, Hot 100. That's your and second. Man, this game is just giving us everything we want, isn't it? Right, that's oh, that's it. And that's that's the sort of stuff you love to watch if you're a fan, if you're a neutral. And oh, Eddie Oliver with another one of those delayed play the ball. Someone move. check his blood alcohol level because I think there's <laughs> some sort of... Uh, Something impacting his performance here, but nonetheless, the Broncos with a two-point lead, they dish it inside to so AMAC. AMAC had space, but he's brought down in some desperate stuff from the visitors. Fifth and last now, shy of the 20. Where will they go here? They drop back in the pocket to Edwards. Edwards puts up a high bomb. It's a great kick. They're going to let it bounce. Eli takes it. Eli will stroll all the way, coast to coast. He's beat one. He just has to get past the last one, and Eli Barnes. What a play from him. 
I thought he was gone for all money, Riley, but the Bronco is showing that desperate defense that's kept him on the game. Riley Flynn on the inside, and it's just not stopping at all on this counter attack for Canberra. Yeah, Barnes, I thought he was waiting for all money, but Simon Hunt came across the entire field He's and ran there. down the Three. Raiders' fullback. That was amazing work from Hunt. Oh my god. Oh, Kowal catches an awkward ball, but he holds on to it. Great job here. Four tackle now. The visitors creeping slowly towards the red zone. They give it back inside to Dane Blaine, who's driven back. Fifth and last now. The Raiders don't want to let this set go to waste. There was a great line break that opened it up for them from Eli Barnes. They want to finish it here. It's a great kick from Berkeley. Perfectly placed. Manu catches it. Manu steps one. He turns Eli inside out, but Eli does a great job to turn back in field. And just like that, Riley, it's like a game of ping pong. It's just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, I'm not even sure what's going to be happening at the end of this game. Who knows who's going to win this one? They just, both teams can't be stopped at the moment. They've just gone really good. And, oh, Eddie Oliver, that looked a bit flat. But they get away with it. Third tackle on the 40 meter line. And just over 10 minutes remaining in this game. Caleb Jeff with a huge bump off tackle. Forced to be brought down by Eli Barnes. Folks, get your popcorn. This is going to be one hell of a finish. You do not want to miss it. Here on SOL TV, Michael Manu breaks through the line, tries to step inside. And Barnes, once again, reading him like a book. Fifth tackle now. 70 played here. Broncos player Eddie Oliver gives it inside to Bakers, who puts up a high ball. It'll go to the 10. Under it is Jaden Garcia. Brought down, trying to be driven over the line there. And both teams just doing great to hold up on the high balls. <laughs> with the fifth tackle options from the opposition. Oh, geez. I can't wrap my head around how good this game has been as Rossini takes one off the noggin. One's up with it, plays it safe. Third tackle now at the 40 for the Raiders. They drop it. Thompson gives it out. Watch out. It's Mr. Danger Man himself. He like Barnes, but he's wrapped up in great defense from the Bronx. Fourth tackle now. Right side. Beckley dishes it to Dane Blaine, and Dane Blaine driven. By the coattails, fifth and last here for the Canberra side. Looking to get a win here and try and restore a bit of faith, a bit of confidence in their season hopes for the finals. Dylan Sharp takes a great ball there, but he's slow to return it. And once again, off the hook there, Riley. These teams, they're just making some great, great opportunities, but they just can't seem to ice it out. That's how tight of a game it's been. Yeah, that's definitely been the case. And... Both teams are just kind of struggling to get through each other at the moment. They're just too evenly matched, I would say, at the moment. And Short, oh, he's back and he's better than ever. He still can't be stopped. He's been amazing this game. Definitely a standout for the Broncos. Yeah, most definitely. Him and Amac just, they wear their hearts on their sleeves and they always try and lead by example for this Bronco side. Eddie Oliver, Eddie Oliver gives it to Edwards who puts in a great kick forcing Riley Flynn to retreat a bit straight through the gap he goes oh and he nearly went around like a Manu but it was great defense shown there from the Broncos I don't know who the defender was that brought him down but it was a great tackle shrugs one off Kowal second and the Raiders already at the opposition 40 now referee nearly blowing the uh, nearly blowing the whistle for the penalty third tackle 35 from the line, the Raiders can see it, they can feel it, they can almost touch it as they give an offload to Jordan Lewis. And the captain not able to get anywhere with that ball. Fourth tackle now, the Raiders' visitors. Where will they go? They shift the left side to Jaden Garcia, who will just be wrapped up. Brought down shy of the 20, less than, oh, just over five minutes remaining in this game. 14-12 is the score as the high bomb goes up. It might hit the post, it does, but it's back. Lightning McQueen there to scoop it up. And it's a game of inches, this one, Riley. If it was just one inch forward, it could have been a fatal result for the Broncos. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Baker's, Baker's, Baker's barely taken down there. He went half the field. And, man, that was so close to being a try. And the Raiders, they need the ball back here if they want to be in this game. Yeah, and they've got about just under five minutes to try and do it. They're down by two points. The game is not out of reach just yet, but they need to hold strong here, especially through the middle where a lot of these Broncos opportunities have just opened up and have done a great job exposing them here and there tonight. The home side is AMAC, gets the run up short of the 25th and last now. The Raiders will get their chance, barring a great kick from the Broncos. It's a grubber. They try a trick play. Wally Allen once again 
stopping that one from being scored and that could have been a great run there from the Broncos but with just just under three minutes remaining while the Canberra Raiders need to get to the other side of the field right now yeah they definitely do and Wally Allen that was a huge play from him just stopping almost a certain try there getting his body in the way and he's done that a few times today and oh Rossini with the big hit in the offload to Lewis Brought down just in front of the 40. Are they going to line up for the 40-20? I think they're in position. They're going to drop it back in the slot. Thompson gets it. He might have been over the 40, but it's a great kick. It has the angle. Doesn't have the bounce. Manu takes it. And he shrugs right off. He just has to beat Barnes, but Barnes will meet him there. Just on the two minutes remaining in the, in the away fans, you can see the hope slowly disappear from their faces as Simon Hunt gets a line break. Brought down in a great ankle tap from Raul Kowal. This is it for the Raiders. They need to hold firm. The Broncos looking to ice out this game and get off to a three, a four and four start to this season. Two points the difference. Just a minute remaining inside border. Caleb Jeff for tackle now. Inside the 10. The Raiders trying to hold on. The home side looking to finish this one off. Lula takes it, winds it up. Winds a bit of clock, or time off the clock. Fifth and last now. The Broncos, flat ball. Edwards gets it, but he's brought down. 30 seconds left for the Raiders. Can they do it? It's going to be a mammoth task here. They've got to go coast to coast. Give it to the Barnes. Give it to one of your outside backs. Do something with the ball. This could be the dagger for your finals hopes if you're the Raiders. Five seconds ticking down. The home fans on their feet as the Broncos come away with a gutty, a gutty, a, a gritty 14 to 12 win here at home over the Canberra Raiders. And what a game it was, right? Yeah, definitely a gutty game there. And the Broncos, they just did so well at the end just to keep themselves in the lead and not give it away to the Raiders. They just yeah, they just did an amazing job. And that penalty kick just ended up being the difference. Yeah, it was a close encounter. 14-12, the final score. It was a gutty game as we take a look at the try scorers. Luke Short and Eddie Oliver getting on the board for the Bronx with John Baker's Three converted, oh, two converted tries and the penalty goal that ultimately was the difference maker in this one. For the Raiders, Jordan Lewis, the captain, and Eli Barnes, two names you always see whenever it comes to stats for the Raiders. We take a look, possession on par, 51% in favor of the Broncos. Completions relatively the same, 21 from 27 compared to the 21 from 26 for the Raiders. Errors almost the same as well, 7 to 6. Broncos making... 10, 11 more tackles than the Raiders. Missed tackles more in favor of the Broncos as well. I mean, when you look at these numbers, Riley, I mean, it just sums up how close this game really was. Yeah, it really does. Just everything is almost the same. Just uh, Broncos just kind of inching ahead in uh, most of the stats as well. And the same completions <laughs> as well. It just shows, doesn't it? As we'll uh, look over at the individual team stats now. Yeah, it certainly is a game of inches and... You know, you don't want to see these games flop. You want to see some great games, and that's a great game we had here tonight. We take a look at the Broncos' stats. Eddie Oliver, three line breaks, four errors, but he did get the try. So Eddie Oliver, you know, putting up these numbers, it was a bit gritty, a bit a bit gutty, <laughs> some might say, but we take a look. Luke Short, six shy of 200 run meters. He had three tackle breaks and six line breaks as well. What an effort from Luke Short. Raka Manu holding his own at the one jersey. Seven line breaks. Only had two missed tackles, but he was relatively clutch on defense. Lillard, Edwards, Amac, Bakers, Hunt, and Jeff. All over 100 run meters for the Bronco. Yeah, it's very good uh, good work from him. And I'm just noticing Eddie Oliver, 32 tackles, one missed. No wonder he was doing the Oliver shuffle. He's bloody... Must have taken about 10 head knocks in the game. <laughs> he doesn't know what field he's on. Yeah, might have to get the headgear on after that one, but it was a great game from the Broncos nonetheless. One that can, they can be proud of. Uh, it was a, I keep saying it, a gutsy, win, a gutsy win, but we'll take a look at the visiting side now. And the stats oh. for the Raiders. Eli Barnes, over 300, 19 tackles, zero missed, 11 line breaks, and a try to his name. I mean... Wow. Those are outstanding numbers, but that's just probably a typical Eli Barnes sort of a game, isn't it? Yeah, Eli Barnes sees these stats and says, oh, you know what, it's... Sorry, guys, it was an off day for me. <laughs> light work, light work. 
but Berkeley, Allen, James, Demanda, and Thompson all over 100 run meters. And I tell you what, Demanda and Riley Flynn doing a good job on the wing positions with four line breaks apiece, but they just couldn't get past that brick wall of Broncos defense. And so what that means is the Broncos will finish round eight at four and four, 50%, and they will keep their finals chances well alive. For the Raiders, Riley, it's two and six for them now. What What is the play here? Do you think it's... Do you write the Raiders off early? Do you think there's there's no chance for them to make finals? Or do you think until it's mathematically impossible, they're still within the fight? Yeah, I'd say, look, if you got Eli Barnes, there's always hope, right? He's such a classy player, and they've got the they've got the pieces to the puzzle. They just haven't really put it together yet. The Raiders, they just need to they just need to keep on trying. I, I reckon it's not the end of their season just yet. They're a very good team, and they just need some time. Yeah, well said there, Riley. And what a game it was here for your Indigenous Round game between the Broncos and the Raiders. I'm Sonny Tyre here with Riley Murray joining me for tonight's broadcast. Thank you for watching on SRL TV. And we will see you on the next game on SRL TV.